How's it going everybody? Welcome back to another video. And today we're talking about weird tech. Now, dishwashers are not new tech. In fact, they're pretty old. But portable dishwashers, I think, are pretty rad and I'm pretty excited about this one because I don't have a dishwasher at my apartment. It's called the Hava R01 Compact Countertop Dishwasher. We're gonna be putting it to the test, see if it actually works, how well it works. Now, this is a $400 unit and I think they pretty frequently run sales so you can find it for about 350. How this dishwasher works is like any other dishwasher, you do need a source of clean water. You can either hook it directly up to your faucet or you can also fill up the water basin with three of these and that should be enough for a full cycle. And then of course you also need a place to drain the dirty water. So in the back here is a little nozzle that you um, use the supplied hose to essentially either just let it sit by your sink so it kind of drains just straight into your sink or you can also drill a hole into your countertop that will go directly into your piping. We have this nice door, opens up, we have a little LED lamp and then there's this little groove right here where your detergent will go in and it takes either liquid detergent, pods or powder and then you have this slidey guy. You got a place for your utensils and then up here is where I think you're supposed to put your cups. You also get this basket for cleaning fruit apparently. So up here there's a couple of cycles that we'll go through later but one of the cycles is a fruit cycle. So if you wanted to put the basket in here and clean your fruits that way, you could. You have your upper spray nozzle here, and then you have your lower spray nozzle over here. A little drainage plug right here that you can take out and clean if you would like. Dry will take 60 minutes. Normal will take 69 minutes. Nice. Speed will take 29 minutes. Soft will take 59 minutes. Baby care heavy, 89 minutes. It's pretty long, and then fruit, Cleaning will take 19 minutes. So if you wanted to clean your fruit for 19 minutes, make sure they're very clean, you can do that. All right, here we go. As you can see, we have a lot of dishes. I'm actually already seeing that the top of this is not gonna go in. Let's rearrange this. I think this can probably just stack up right here. I'm just gonna lay this one flat. But, oh, that's not gonna work either. I don't think that's gonna work. So I'm gonna put this one off to the side. All right, there we go. My hands smell kind of like spaghetti, which is weird because I didn't cook any spaghetti. There's nothing really else to do other than start the cycle. So here we go. We've got a little pod here, not made for consumption. I'm gonna put that right in that groove and it just slides off. I'm not entirely sure what you would do with that because there's no door to like close it. So I'm pretty sure that is fine. And we're just gonna hit start. Oh, shit. I forgot to put water in there. Be right back. I also need to hook up this hose. That would have been really bad. Okay, got a little too excited. And here we go, this is bucket number three. We're listening for a beep to let us know when the water is full. There we go. And now we are actually ready to run it. So it's only been five minutes. It's doing a great job cleaning in there. There's a lot of suds going on and it does get very hot in there. And there's actually a little exhaust on the side right here, which gets pretty hot. As far as the drainage bucket down there, it looks like it hasn't drained any water yet. So 
Looks like it's currently in the washing cycle right now, so it's gonna wanna, you know, reuse and recycle that sudsy water and try to clean off the dishes as best as possible. And then when it gets to the rinsing cycle, I'm guessing that's when the water will start filling up at the bottom. So I'll check in with you when that happens. But for now, I guess I can just relax and not have to worry about the dishes. Okay, so we have about 22 minutes left in this cycle and this dirty water bin has been filled up. Looks like that drainage hole works and um, we'll check back in in 20 minutes to see how clean our dishes are. Now it looks like currently it has entered the dry. Now I am gonna pause it just so we can open it up and see how the machine did. There we go. So the plates are actually very, very hot right now. So this plate right here, looking very, very clean and very, very hot. This guy right here, which we placed in a suboptimal spot, looks very shiny. And then everything else looks great. Let's take a look at the utensils. Yeah, very dry. Overall, very impressed, very practical. I would definitely recommend it if you don't have a dishwasher and you have the counter space for something like this. Definitely take a look at the measurements to make sure it fits underneath your cabinets and that sort of thing. The only downside that I can see to this machine is this little rack right here. I mean, it says that you can put a mug here, but I just don't think that's possible. So that's the only complaint I have. Other than that, I think it's a great device. It works really well. And as far as maintenance goes, not a whole lot of maintenance, just clean off any food scraps, check the filter every once in a while to make sure there's nothing clogging up the water drainage. And then that's about it really. So yeah. Thank you guys for sticking around and checking out the Hava R01 compact dishwasher with me. If you guys are interested in picking one up, I'll have links down below. You can use that link to support the channel. And make sure to get subscribed to see other weird tech. I believe the next video is going to be a portable air conditioner. Like the video on your way out, leave a comment, and I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.